President Umnam Gogwa has stated that people who claim the government has interfered with recent court orders that prevent some opposition candidates from running in the harmonized elections on August 23rd are blatantly misinformed. The government does not interfere with the work of the judiciary. President Umnam Gogwa said he was not involved in any election-related court disputes when he spoke to the media yesterday after his arrival from Russia, where he was attending the second summit of the Russia-Africa Economic and Humanitarian Forum. He advised them to contact their former schools and request reimbursement for their tuition. I'm not even close to the court. They are not very educated if they are making such accusations because I've never taken anyone to court. When courts determined that the Zimbabwe Election Commission aired by approving their nominations, more than a dozen opposition candidates have been disqualified from running in the next elections. Xavier Kasukawe, an independent candidate for president, was denied the opportunity to run for the highest office in the land when the Supreme Court rejected his appeal against the decision by the High Court that invalidated his nomination. Mr. Kasukawe's appeal, according to the Supreme Court, lacked merit. Once the Bulawayo High Court determined that 17 opposition National Assembly candidates had filed their nomination papers after the deadline had passed, including 12 from the Citizens' Coalition for Change, they were barred from running in the election on Thursday. The head of the Labour Economist and African Democrats, Ms. Linda Messerera, wanted to run for president but her application to enter the race was also rejected since she didn't pay her nomination cost on time. On the recently concluded summit, President Umnengogwa stated that African nations, including Zimbabwe, were leading the way in establishing a new global order. The reception from the heads of state from Africa was quite positive, he continued, and we were all well received. The majority of the heads of state from the 54 nations who participated in the summit traveled to Russia, demonstrating that Africa respects Russia and that it is now an independent continent that cannot be coerced into doing anything. Certainly, some countries' leaders chose not to attend, but the majority of heads of state did. He said that delegations from African nations who did not have heads of state in attendance were present. According to him, there was a lot of cooperation, particularly in Africa with regard to food security. President Vladimir Putin also added a donation, donating several metric tons to a number of nations that are facing food insecurity. You are completely aware of the geopolitical situation in the nation Russia, he continued, adding that a new world order is currently taking shape. We are all helping to create a new world order where everyone is treated fairly and the rule of law is upheld. President Umnam Gogwa said in his speech to the conference on Friday that the Western hegemonic dominance and rule needed to be challenged. For decades, the growing menace of transnational organized crime, violence, and terrorism that encroach upon global peace and security has hampered sustainable socio-economic growth at regional and global levels, he stated. A country is constructed, developed, administered, and prayed for by its own people, according to Zimbabwean philosophy. We don't leave anyone or anything behind. For the emerging just and peaceful world order, strengthening current institutions and forging new alliances remain crucial. Zimbabwe applauds the Russian Federation for its solidarity and assistance in bringing about the summit between Russia and Africa, which was motivated by our common aspirations and development goals.